hey you. Thanks for stopping by. It's Gunny here. And this is another quick video I'm just throwing together real quick about how to add the uh, reshader to your Star Wars Galaxy's Bloodfin uh, NGE installation. So I downloaded the uh, reshader, latest version, or last version, whatever it was, 3.0 something. And uh, you take that zip file and you extract it into your uh, NGE folder. And then you run the reshader setup. And sometimes they recommend just doing it from the login menu, but I'm just going to do it in game here. So you do that by hitting Shift F2. It doesn't come up the first time. And it does start with a, a basic tutorial here that you can go through real quick. Let me show you that. I just basically do what it says and it continues. But it um, probably tell you to do this at the login so you don't have this cursor thing going on here. But, um, anyways, so it's like presets. You use them. How do you do it? You add one, so you click add, give it a name, preset, one, whatever, something creative. And then there's your options. They sure are in bright red. I don't know why it's in red, but there you go. Um, and when you, oh, you missed, I missed a brief step before when you uh, run the reshader setup in your folder, it's going to ask you a few setup questions like what version of Direct3D do you want to use and uh, where your executable is. Just make sure you point it to the uh, Bloodfin NGE executable which is the replacement for the SWG whatever executable uh, dash R dot executable like that. and um, then it'll be enabled when you run your game from the executable that to get in here blah 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 tutorial whatever continue this is where you can manage the uh, individual settings for each of these add-ons oh and when you run the reshader setup in your uh, game folder it will ask you if you want to download a common set of effects to go along with it and I don't know what happens if you say no you might not get any of the good stuff so just go ahead and say yes and you'll automatically get all the effects uh, available, not necessarily installed, but they'll be available for you to use in here. So yeah, once you get in here, you do the setup, it tells you, oh, this is where you can configure the individual values for each thing, blah, 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 and you finish. Alright. And we are done. So now we're going to select some of these settings in here, um, and I'll show you what a couple of them do. Uh, most of them are pretty obvious, and, um, pretty novelty, something I don't anticipate you would use for any length of time, but uh, like the uh, ASCII mode turns the entire game into, you guessed it, a text-based. <laughs> We're using ASCII symbols to draw everything. That's cute, but not really practical. Uh, what are some of the other funny ones here? I have like a cartoon mode one, but it doesn't really seem to do anything. I can, like turn everybody into cartoon characters or anything like that. Just slight color changing. But uh, what are some of the other effects here we saw that were interesting? Oh, night vision. Watch out. Terminator's looking for you. But, uh, and obviously black and white and stuff like that. There was like an EGA mode. I don't know if any of you are old enough to know what an EGA monitor, but that was before BGA. Yeah, it was like 16 colors or whatever back in the good old days but anyways let's go through some of the settings that we probably would want to use um, so it's real foggy I don't want that um, here I might close this real quick I might Rusty. Hey, hey, kids! Alright, let's go outside and do this. Let's a vehicle or something. Let's see some textures on. Alright, now you can see, like, 
the edge of this speeder here is pretty jaggy because we don't have uh, AA filtering for the game. So that's one of the reasons why I enabled this was for that particular setting right there. So we're going to go in, look at some jaggy edges, and then we're going to bring up our reshader options by hitting Shift F2 again. So we can see that edge. What I'm looking for is FXAA. Right here. And just like that, look how smooth those edges are. Nice. Alright, there's one option we're definitely going to keep. Let's see. Let's save that. Get out of here. I'm always stuck on chase mode. Face. What's up, crusty face? Alright. I should move forward a little bit so we can see all this stuff. Damn it. I'm trying to keep him looking the same direction as all this stuff here, so. Without zooming in too close. Alright, shift F2. <coughs> Motion blur. Yeah, we'll use that. What else we got in here? In the fog when you're outside. Woo! Yeah, it's foggy. I don't know what it's adaptive to, but it definitely just seems like full fog all the time. Uh, 3D effects. No. Ambient light. There's a couple of them missing in here that I elected not to install on this go-around because I already played with the effects that, uh, and they don't do anything I'm interested in using, so I didn't ins install all those effects in the beginning. Add some color there. Denoise doesn't seem to do too much for me. Except make it fuzzier. fuzzy effect. And that doesn't seem to work too good for me. Uh, and the depth of fields I never had any good luck with either. Kind of thought it would be like everything close would be clear and everything far away would be fuzzy, but none of these seem to enable that. Maybe it's just not supported on Radeon cards. This, I am running a Radeon uh, RX 370. I mean... <coughs> Prior to the RX, what was this? A R7 370 or something like that. If you like high dynamic range, that's fake high, dy high dynamic range. Emphasize looks a lot like remove color. Okay, what else? Blur, blur things out again. Sharpen. It's already pretty sharp. More blur. It uh, uses uh, maximum color levels or something. Really gets high contrast effect. field thing that doesn't work so great. Some more bloom. Monochrome obviously makes it black and white. It's our night vision mode again. Nostalgic. I don't know if that means CGA mode or something similar. <laughs> Makes my eyes 
burn. A little blurring of the textures there on the vehicle. More bright color. Dim color. There's a bright color. Okay, well there's a whole bunch of options. <coughs> They're set. Uh, I don't need to tweak the individual settings here in any of them right now. settings and then I switch off of configuration mode into performance mode and it's going to reload the effects here in a second or a minute depending on how long it takes for you there we go and we close it up Ooh, look at that blur Is that blurry enough for you Oh yeah, when I come out of um, the effects screen, my guy's stuck in walk mode, but if I shift walk real quick, then he goes back into running. But yeah, those are just some of the settings turned on. I might not keep all of these on, but uh, just a quick intro into the re shader, and hopefully that helped you get it up and running. Alright, thanks for stopping by, and please don't forget to comment down below and appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel as well all right thanks for stopping by and you have a great one later